Hi there, welcome back to Fred Chase. Time for a shave. As you can see, I have some cream in my face. It's a pre shave I was sent to try. A sample with Pura so Red. Just gonna show that in the bin. So I just take it on the skin and let it sit there for a little bit. I don't usually use pre shave, but it's fun to just mix things up a little bit and as you probably guess soap of choice will be Russell Red really like this onion scent on this one and I'm gonna use my once again Gillette Fat Boy look at this beautiful great great razor 1958 it's an E4 with a third use Gillette 7 o'clock and for the brush, we're gonna use this from PAA. This is the um, uh, Starcraft 26 mil synthetic. So, we're just gonna rinse a little bit of my hands, which is full of pre shave. Hope you all have been having a good Monday so far. I am completely knackered. Been to the hospital with our youngest. He had quite foul he fall fall on the floor. And uh, we get got a really pain in his leg so we had to take some x-rays and make sure he didn't have broken something and luckily he hadn't. I did break my leg when I was just a little bit older than him so it was nice to check things out that everything was fine. And I'm struggling with my own leg too. I was out for a run Sunday morning and after I had my run I had had some B bad pain in my right knee it's stiff and it hurts a little bit so I need to take a little break I guess running wise and hopefully it heals up without any requi required treatment Just releasing off my term here. Getting it, getting it nice and clear. Yeah, I don't use pre shave very often. I do have actually both the white and green full size Purasa green pre shave. But I don't find it makes any big difference for me because the soaps these days are really good and slick. I don't need any pre-shave to help with the slickness. I think we did an overload but that's okay. Yeah, so hopefully all the jungle's bloke will. It's already better in this leg now actually, so hopefully it will heal up in a couple of days and he'll be completely back to normal. Same thing I hope with my knee. It's kind of frustrating. Finally into the groove again and bang. Well, not getting any younger, so yeah, starting to get an old man, you know.
Oh, let's get the good leather with Russell. Easy to work. Into a good leather, I think. Yeah. Are they the best of soaps? Probably not. But they are sure good value for money. And they are easy to get hold of. Probably almost everywhere, I guess. And they have good scents. I really like the scents. Green is my favorite. Due to the mantle. Really liking this brush too. It's a good leather. Actually, it's quite wet. I think it's wetter than I used to have them. Look at the sheen. Great. Today, we're gonna use this bad boy at setting number five. And rock and roll. Here we go, first pass with the rain. And it's slick. Really slick. Five feels like a very comfortable setting. One day of growth for me. Yeah, the leather is just peeling off the racer. It has been warm today again. High 60s, nice Schwartz leather. So, it's gonna be some cooling down tomorrow. On Wednesday, it's forecasted to rain quite heavily. The residual thickness is okay, not as good as with the artisan soap, oh, weeper. but it's there, it's probably a touch better since I used the pre-shave. Holy crap, how is that? Oh. 
just neighbor trimming the lawn mowing the lawn hmm. and disturbing my peaceful quiet enjoyable evening scene get away Mow the lawn another time, please. Setting five is surely doing the job great. Quite a lot of blade feel, actually. Or it's not very aggressive, but it's more aggressive and more blade feel that setting fire at my slim, that's for sure. Starting to feel good. I wonder if yeah. I think I call it there because I had some sunburn yesterday and I can feel my skin is a little bit sensitive so we say it's enough with two passes tonight. Finish with a lawn mowing. Come on, there's some aloe. Not much of a feedback, a little bit around my MM's apple and where I had my whipper at the gym. Not bad, not bad. All in the mouth. That off. Like so. Let's 
stuff in the sink a little bit when the face is drying up a little bit more. Hmm. The red dots there on the lower part of my right neck is not from today's shave. I think it's a little bit uh, irritation from uh, maybe the shave yesterday or the day before that. That is starting to clear up quite well. Okay, doggy. Uh, gonna use Purasa Red off the shade. Great stuff, great scent. Nice burn. And rinse of the brush. La Bruge. Plenty of leather left. Easily enough for at least two more passes. Finish it all off with some Purasso White Sensitive again. Same balm that I used for my last shade. Really liking this stuff. It was a smooth shade. Really close, just having two passes. So, cook that up, rinse off the hands, and there we have the shade. Hmm, quite shiny face due to a lot of bone, but that's okay, that will dry up quite quick. Just to go and do a quick recap of what we used, and then I let it go. We used Purasso Red, and for the first time we tried out the pre-shave. And uh, did I uh, did I feel any different? I don't know. It was a great scent. Probably helped a little bit with the slickness, but soap is slick, so did I need it? Probably not. But it was cool to try out. We used our PAA um, Starcraft 26mm synthetic knot and our Reload Gillette Fatboy from 1958 and finished all up with the red aftershave from Purasso and Purasso White and Balm. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not do that for before. This was quite a short video to be me, so we're gonna keep it under 20 minutes and until my next video, goodbye.